Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Eric, and today we have our first, well, my first Girls' Generation comeback. Um, obviously, it's been years. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, super legendary. This year has been incredible um, with K-pop. I mean, I'm sure going forward, um, you know, as I get more and more um, into more years as a K-pop fan, I'll probably be hard pressed to find a year as special as this um just from you know the amount of years that a lot of groups have been in hiatus that have come back a lot of legendary groups trend-setting groups um girls generation is definitely one of them um you know they 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 laid the groundwork for um a lot of groups today um and you know you can just feel the iconic energy when you hear their earlier songs and just move through their discography um i haven't seen any uh i've seen a little bit of teasers on ig a little bit i've seen pictures of sue young i follow her on instagram i follow pretty much most of the members on instagram um but I, i've seen pictures of like sue young and yuri um tiffany bias line yuna um and they look amazing so ethereal they look so um refreshing you know what i'm saying just to be such a iconic group that has been in the game for so many years um and this is this is i think this is a beautiful thing for the industry to see them come back and still you know be together all these years um yeah so we've got uh forever one my favorite girls generation song so far has been you think honestly i think that's criminally underrated just because it came out around the same time as i think lionheart did and Lionheart was the main title track that got pushed. Um, that's a concept that I would want to see now, honestly, like a you think type of concept, that type of vibe. But we'll see what we're going to get. I think they're going to go for a nostalgic type of vibe just based on the teasers that I've seen. Um, a lot of colors, a lot of glitz, a lot of glamour. Um, but yeah, so we're going to watch the MV and then we're going to watch the behind the scenes, which is one of the first times I think I've reacted to a behind the scenes video on this channel. So hopefully it doesn't get blocked. Um, but yeah, it's pretty lengthy. So let's jump into the MV for forever one. Before we get into the video, make sure you all like, comment, subscribe to your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, girls generation with forever one. Wow, it's iconic. Okay, right out the gate. Wow. So young, so young. So young. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at her. I mean Yuri, Yuna and Yuri. Okay. <laughs> they got they got DJ Hill on the turntables. Is she DJ? <laughs> there she goes. Tiffany, please. Bro, why does Su Young look so good? Ooh, come on, Tae Young. Okay, Sunny. Ooh, that note. Come on, Sunny. Supermodel. Mm, Yuri looks amazing. Bro, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I re I apologize, but get Su Young out my face, please. Why does she look so good?
that dress. What the hell is that? Yeah, I'm feeling the nostalgic vibes. Come on, Sue Young with vocals. This part right here, the the dun dun dun, it had is am I tripping or is it the same type of like background cadence as like as like is it into the new world, or I'm not sure if it's into the new world or if it's something or if it's one of their other earlier songs, but it's something, one of their earlier songs. I think it's into the new world, where. Um, it has that like nostalgic dun 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 and they've got that playing right now. I wonder if that's by design. It's gotta be by design. They look amazing, bro. I'm sorry, I've been looking at Su Young in every clip. I love these sets. Come on, yo, with the vocals. Tough. Tough. So that was Girls' Generation with Forever One. Um, definitely can feel the nostalgic vibes. Honestly, I mean, even though I wasn't around when they were in their heyday, you know, with K-pop and just even earlier in earlier years, um, you can still feel the nostalgic vibe. I am a fan of Girls' Generation. I have a number of their songs downloaded um again i i figured they wouldn't go for a super mature concept and instead they opted for a more nostalgic vibe to kind of touch the hearts of the fans that have been waiting for so many years for them to come back um they definitely succeeded with that like i said there were parts in there i think in the bridge where they almost sampled their own song like i i, I swear i think it's like into the new world it has that like that same background beat buildup, um, it had a little bit of that, and I think that was by design. It almost like woke something in my mind, like, wait, I've heard them do this before. Um, they all look amazing, of course. They're all stars. It's almost insane to think about all of them being in one group because I know them from so many different things. Like, I just know, you know, I knew... I, I've said it before on my Girls' Generation reactions, but I know multiple of them for acting in K-dramas before I even knew they were idols. You know, So Young, The Machne, um, Sue Young, that's how she became my bias. I knew her in K-drama. I loved her in, in, in uh, the roles that she played. I forget the name of the K-drama. I think it was Run On um that she played that i loved her role in that um and then i found out she was part of girls generation i mean those two um and then it, it, it was it was multiple yuna yeah yuna was in another um k drama that i really really loved i think was it the k2 i think it was the k2 yuna was in the k2 um you know a couple of them yuri so then i just kind of gradually put it all together that they were in a group and then it was just like now you know i knew you know tiffany for her solo stuff um that i still need to react to um Taeyeon's solo stuff you know 
all of this different you know Hyoyeon solo stuff all of this different stuff and so now all of these all-star caliber women and they're all in the same group it's it's so amazing to me um yeah i mean the talent level is just ridiculous um when you talk about all that talent in one group again they look amazing Sue young looked incredible incredible the buy i mean Su young yuri they took the cake for me um i love how all of the members gave some type of vocal a lot of times that doesn't typically happen they just let them kind of do normal voice registers and stuff but i love the vocal portions for members that don't typically get it in girls generation songs um and i think they did what they sell to do i think that they 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 invoked a lot of emotion on this um track um it's not I don't think it's anything special, you know, you won't, you won't, I, I, you know, personally, I won't put it with the catch me if you cans and, you know, the you thinks and the genie, you know what I'm saying? I won't put it with those, but I think that for what they were trying to do, they were really trying to invoke the emotion of their fans and they still made a solid song with that. You know what I mean? Um, the choreo is catchy. Again, they, they're matching the times, you know, they're, they're more... The, the, the back then their choreo was a lot more you know uh, a little bit more maybe and I won't say their choreo was super intense all the time but um, you know like a catch me if you can they're not gonna make a song like that or like a you think you know that choreo was a little bit on the more intense gen girls generation side you know what I mean we're in the TikTok era so they wanted something you know very flowy and they did that uh, so now let's get into the forever one behind the scenes Yuna looks amazing. <laughs> They're playing Taeyeon's song. Soo Young is... Respectfully, Soo Young is fine as... Wow. Bro. Bro. Thank you. Please stop putting the camera on Soo Young. Is that you? Why did they put Sunny between Yuna and Suyang? <laughs> Jesus take the wheel She's, she's really ultimate level for me, honestly. Bro. Bro. Bro, she... It's like haymaker after haymaker with her, like... As soon as I think it can't get any worse. Bro. 
Why does this woman look so good, bro? It hurts to look at her. From, from Su Young to Yuri, come on, y'all. <sighs> Bro, I, this this video is gonna be too long. I gotta keep going. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. <laughs> Who is the stylist that put her in that dress? I just want to talk. A supermodel. Her voice is so calming. I never noticed that. And it's a little deeper than, than I thought. In a good way. Stunning, stunning, you know. Okay, I was wondering what that monster was for. Ooh, those outfits are f the colors, the brown. SM close the gyms. Three, 
못하는 것 같아요. 모이크 한 번만 주세요. 한번 더 할게요. 이거 킥해주세요. 진짜 마지막 한 번만 더 하고 끝낼게. 오, 얘도. 오, 오. 아, 예, 맞아, 맞아. 3, 2, 1, 오. 예, 맞아, 맞아. The color palettes of these outfits are fun. like the tones are perfect. The tones of pink, the tones of brown. Oh, that's fire, how they. <laughs> Tiffany's so extra. <laughs> Up the earrings, the dress. Wow. They're amazing actresses. They really look like they're shooting a movie. <laughs> Showing off the ring. <laughs> This look right here was crazy. That hairstyle, amazing. It's amazing to see all the effort that goes into this. They seem so gracious too to be like the legends of legends in K-pop. They seem, they still seem so appreciative of the moment. You know what I mean? In her element, she, 
Yeah, cause she's a DJ. She's a legit DJ, right? As far as I know. She is so extra, bro. It never fails. She's crazy. <laughs> Tiffany's crazy. It's so funny how free and like loose the older generation idols are. Like, I feel like they're so used to how much, you know, they had their restrictions, but like they were able to interact and stuff, I feel like, during their era more. They really drinking? It's very nostalgic vibes, even the outfits. 
Not these two together, please. Please back the camera up, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please separate Yuri and Suyong. This is the vibe, man. I like I like this behind the scenes stuff. So that was Girls' Generation with their Forever One um, behind the scenes, uh, music video behind the scenes. Um, man, I, again, it's just great to see that type of stuff. Um, it's my first time really watching behind the scenes of the music videos, so um, I, I liked it a lot. I liked the vibe it gave. Um, they they just look stunning. They they look stunning. They're true professionals. You can tell how comfortable they are, but they still have an aura of graciousness about them um, that they appreciate the moment and being able to come back and be together after this amount of time. Um, you know, it, it's it's great to see um, you know positive light uh, shined on the legends of an industry. You know what I mean. Um, and like I said, they're still refreshing. Like, it's not like this is like a last hurrah type of thing, in my opinion. Um, you know, they they still, I mean, I think they they, they seem like they have a tour in them if, if they wanted to. You know what I mean? And, and, and hopefully, you know, tours and shows, they just, they seem so refreshed. Um, sometimes that's kind of what you need is just a couple of years to just kind of sit back, do your own thing. And then, you know, really gain a, a, a newfound like I don't know spark for the group activities you know what I mean so I feel like they all did miss you know being together and doing things together um, and it is a different vibe from you know being alone you know filming movies and modeling and acting and you know just uh, doing solo stuff and things like that so um, yeah this was this was definitely great to see and I hope that we get more girls generation content in the near future definitely so before y'all go make sure y'all like comment subscribe to your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah till next time